Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new weekly vlog. This week is South by Southwest. If you guys didn't know, I do live in Austin and it is my first South by Southwest ever and it's just been so freaking amazing. Like being able to just connect and meet so many different people and I didn't even know that they like lived in Austin and like are in my industry it's just so cool um so this whole weekend I vlogged my first couple of South by Southwest events and then I have a couple this week and then it goes into everyone's been saying it goes into next week but I think it's just like this next weekend so I don't know Honestly, I still can't even explain what South by Southwest is, but I'll try my best. It's basically like this film, music, arts festival. Like basically how I think of it is that a bunch of brands just come to Austin and have activations and kind of like this brand awareness thing. Um, and then also you can buy badges for South by Southwest. They are very expensive. I did not do that though. I wanted to see how many free events that I could find. And honestly, I found a lot. And if you follow like the right account on Instagram you'll be fine and you can find plenty of stuff yesterday I went to create and cultivate which is like this OG blogging platform I don't even know how to describe it but basically it's just this company that puts on events where like other bloggers could network and it was really cool back in the day and still is cool now and they put on really really nice events so if you guys have not watched that vlog already i'll link it down below this week has already been off to an amazing start because your girl got a free freaking blowout i'm like still shook basically i had a um senior shoot near c home so it's kind of like downtown area and i was walking by this jvn pop-up i recognized the name and i was like "Ooh, what's this and they basically said that they were giving out free blowouts and that you could just walk in and so um i had to go back to my shoe and like you know do my job and i was um trying to look up you know how to make an appointment or if you needed to make an appointment and it like said there wasn't any more appointments available so i was like really really hoping that they could get me in for a walk-in and they could i was literally like just waiting for like 15 to 20 minutes or so so it wasn't too bad um but i've never tried any of his hair products so it's jvn hair and if you guys don't know who i'm talking about or what i'm talking about Basically, it's Jonathan Van Ness's hairline, um, and he is in Queer Eye, the one with the really long hair. And it's weird because I was literally watching Queer Eye for the first time last night. We were watching the OMG Squee. Okay, this lighting, I just cannot, so we're just going to have to bear with me. But um, we were watching the OMG Squee episode, and I have always wanted to go to that place for matcha, but I didn't know it was actually like a donut shop or like majority of a donut shop. So, anyway, so we watched that, and it's so weird that it, like, just popped up in front of my eyes today. Um, and his hair products are so good. My hairstylist was telling me all the signs behind it, and it was so interesting. And I really wanted to buy it, but I have so many hair products at home that i really need to like get through them before i can like purchase any new ones i'm a little bit of a hoarder when it comes to hair products because i'm like oh i want to try them all um but honestly like i think i need to try his because even a girl dm'd me after i posted my stories she said she's been using him for like a couple months now and she's like genuinely seen a difference in her hair and i was like Dang it, I wish I didn't hear that because I really want to buy them now and they were giving 20% off so I was like, shit, should I buy the whole collection? But I didn't. Basically, the hairstylist was saying that the molecules in a lot of the products, like the popular products on the market right now, like the hair oils or like just like hair masks or treatments. She was mainly talking about Olaplex, but those molecules are apparently too big to actually like penetrate your hair and like actually fix it from the inside out so they're kind of like surface level fixing and that's crazy to me because i feel like olaplex was one of the first brands that were like we fix damaged hair like we fixed broken ends or something like that you know so now hearing that it only fixes the surface level of your hair is like my goodness like what have i been doing all these years because i do use an olaplex oil and i used to use like the like hair mask one i'm not sure what number it was but anyways i just thought that was so interesting and i really wish like i had it all on video of what she told me so now i definitely want to try more of his products but i want to show you guys the clips that i got from this morning roll the clips
crazy is that today is my hair washing day, but I worked out in the morning. I had a shoot pretty early, so I didn't wash my hair. And then I just got a free freaking blowout on hair washing day when I didn't have time to wash my hair. I was like, wow, this is amazing. I love life. She just did like a straight blowout. Kind of gave me some volume, which is what I needed. And I was planning for it to be a content day, which is perfect that I got my hair done. But now it is literally 3 p.m. And I'm like, where has the day gone? I had a call with my assistant too. And at 3.30, I'm actually having a call with um, one of the account executives that like to know it and just talking about strategy and how I could like move forward with my account. Just like, you know strategize better so i'm very excited about that because i actually just met so many of the people on the team at the like to know it event um this weekend they had like a little happy hour and it was so cool meeting the team and just like i don't know like it like to know it for me is such a big brand so the fact that i could connect with those people like in person was amazing and just tell them what i liked about the app and you know what, what i wanted to see more of on the app and i mean like to know is like definitely one of my most used apps so i thought that was super cool i'm currently editing some grad photos and gonna get those done because i just don't want so many sessions kind of sitting in the queue if you know i have time to edit them i want to get them done and send them back to my grad asap i feel like i usually pride myself in first the quality of my photos the editing of my photos because a lot of photographers these days like do the trendy editing of like the yellowness or like the really moody photos and I try to edit true to color while you know giving you a little bit of like an enhanced look because when you grow up and you show your kids these photos like you're gonna look back and if you got like a yellow photo like your skin is literally yellow or orange I just don't see that as like classic and I always want my photos to be classic so you don't like regret that photo shoot, you know what I mean? And I personally just don't love like the moody and warm toned look. So anyways, I pride myself in all of that and that I don't like wait too long for you to get your photos back because obviously I want them checked off my to-do list and I want my clients to have the photos before it becomes irrelevant or before you like stop getting so excited about it you know I feel like I know that photographers probably have so many sessions and they're so backed up but I feel like at that point you should definitely outsource because I just don't understand making someone wait that long it is literally just evil it's cruel because i don't know when i get my photos taken you guys know i want them instantly and that's why i probably usually take them on my phone or like my camera that has wi-fi connected and i can edit them myself but you guys get it if you're in the austin area and you need a photographer i'm your girl i just don't do weddings but i do pretty much everything else hey, Molly. hello awesome great to see you guys i love when people get on camera <laughs> Just got ready and used my new um, Shade of the Dibs Beauty Foundation, not the foundation, stick. The stick that they made, um, but they came out with two new colors and the contour is a little bit cooler toned. So I used shade 5.5 for the contour and then I used my favorite blush, which is shade 5. Look how beautiful that color is and i like love over blushing i love putting it right on my nose and giving you a little bit more of like a flushed look so i just did that and i did a tutorial on my tiktok so go follow me if you guys are not already following me over there my call with the ltk account executive went really well she talked about strategy she talked about like what has done well for me and what i should just keep doing kind of like just the new features of the app um so if you guys are not familiar with like to know it it is an app where like all your favorite bloggers instagrammers youtubers can post direct links to things that they have so like outfit of the days i would link this jacket i would link the undershirt, I would link all my earrings, everything like the exact links, the similar links. And um, I've started to do kind of like collages and just like styling for certain occasions like St. Patty's Day. My assistant helped me make 
a graphic for that so a lot of like amazon fashion finds too so definitely go follow me over there download the app because honestly it's a great way to get like fashion inspo for trends that are happening literally in the moment because sometimes pinterest can be a little bit outdated like i'll search winter outfits and i swear i see the same damn outfit that i saw like three years ago at the top of my pinterest page so it is a great place to just like be keeping up with what's in style and everything like that in a weird way i feel like the days are going so much faster because of daylight saving time like i have an extra hour but i feel like the days are just flying by because it's what is it like s almost 6 p.m and i feel like i still need to be working but in reality i should maybe be starting to make dinner um because the event that we're going to tonight is for the swimming with sharks premiere at the line hotel which is a beautiful hotel and i'm pretty sure it's by the pool i think they're gonna have like drinks and light bites but i have a lot of food in the fridge that might be going bad so i really need to like cook something so let's go in the kitchen and figure that shit out i forgot ryan brought this home from heb so a little snack and i think like i said that party might have some light bites but honestly the last event that we went to that had some light bites was very light and also like people were just like attacking it so i had like one little thing of it but tonight we're gonna chase after the food are we gonna drink tonight ryan mm -hmm. you are no you aren't oh. you aren't no are you I don't know, if they have a fun drink, I might try it, you know? But I feel like I'm just not wanting any alcohol in my system from this weekend. Not that like it was bad or anything. Like I think Saturday morning I had like a little tiny headache, but also this weekend I do want to go back out to Rainy Street. So I'm gonna do it all over again. I'm just trying to like catch up on sleep, honestly. Like this morning I was super freaking tired, um, but I'm just so grateful for all these events happening and I have to take advantage of all of them, you know? Wanted to show you guys my outfit of the night for the premiere party thing. Um, so this dress is from Princess Polly. I got it like last year in September, so I'm not sure if it's still on the site, but I feel like Princess Polly always keeps like past items in stock, so that's great. And then these boots are Vince Camuto. I wasn't sure how I was feeling about them, but I kind of like it. Giving me Tinkerbell vibes for sure though. <laughs> Tuesday and I'm getting ready to head out to an OVX Merrill event at I think it's at Half Step on Rainy Street. I actually don't own anything Outdoor Voices and they're gonna gift us some stuff when we get there but like the brands that I'm wearing right now are like all their competitors so I feel like a little bit awkward but no problem because I think we like literally change right when we get there. But I thought I'd show you guys my outfit. Um, So this zip up is from Aloe and then we have this white tank top that I actually just got from Lululemon um, for this event because I don't feel comfortable yet just in like a little bra and leggings so I wanted something like flowy to make me feel really good about myself especially because at these events like they take photos they take videos and last event that I did this I was not wearing a very flattering thing so I learned my lesson and then I'm wearing a set active set um, it's like a green color and then I have that one shoulder ribbed bra and then I got my hokas on and I actually slicked back my hair this morning um, and I kind of feel bad about it because I just got my hair done yesterday and I really liked it and I woke up with my hair feeling amazing but I was thinking about doing braids but I didn't want to like crease my hair and so I was like okay maybe I'll just do like a ponytail but then I wanted to slick it back and I put product in my hair, so I'm gonna probably have to wash it anyway, so I should have probably just done the braids, but anyways, I think it turned out really cute. And then I had my Apple Watch on. Somebody recently asked me in my DMs where I got this band, and it's from Amazon, of course, and so I'll link it down below.
burning, but in the best way. I think the arms. Oh yeah, I did it for me. The arms and the calves just. Not gonna be able to lift my forearms. Put the head up. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, let's go get that. about these crunch bars oh over here. These French are the toast. Most delicious bars that you'll ever eat okay. in your entire life. Okay. No added sugar. Okay, we love that. Fiber, 10 grams of protein, Amazing. plant based. Okay. Plant based protein. Okay. Very big. Based here out of Austin, Texas. You can we find love us that. HEB, Sprouts, Tom's, Royal Blue Grocery. We're and a bunch of other places as well. They're so good. Love it. We're going to get a live taste test right now. <laughs> What are, what are the flavor notes? French toast. French toast. <laughs> yeah. Wait, it tastes like those cereal really bars good. that I ate as a little kid, but they're definitely worse for me, so this is awesome. Apparently there's going to be a flower crown event here at Idle Hands at noon. Obviously it's going to be done when you guys are watching this, but it's really cute. Oh, Taking you back to like midday 2016 where you were wearing like the flower crown, yeah. face gems. Yep. It's 1046 and we just got done at the Outdoor Voices and Merrill event and it was actually really fun. I need to find out who that like instructor is and where she is. She said she's in Austin. I think it's called Dance Cardio, but I'm not sure. It was actually so much fun and I want to look into it. If it's like close to the east side, I'd definitely be interested. My thing with working out at like classes and gyms and stuff like that is that I hate to drive. Like that is just one more factor that I'm like mm, not feeling like driving over there so I make an excuse and don't go to the gym. So that's why I'm trying to like stick to my apartment gym for now. Um, but got my workout in, burned 500 calories, dancing my butt off and it was really fun. And it was like also like easy to keep up with. Um, so that was really nice. After the event, they had like breakfast tacos, coffee. We got some boozy smoothies. I got like a pina colada one, which was really yummy. And I literally want to just transport myself to Cancun and drink many of those pina coladas. Jenna came with me and we got to catch up a little bit more, which was nice. And I saw a couple of my other influencer friends and I don't know, I feel like I've been saying this a lot, but it just makes me so happy that I am starting to see them more often. And I wish these things happened like every other week i mean maybe not every week because that would be exhausting but i just love to like connect with people that are you know in the same industry as me and just like know you know just like get it <laughs> but right in front of me well i'm on rainy street but right in front of me they are tearing down the amazon prime event space and i'm so sad about it because i really wanted to go but i think it was like invite only slash like you had to have a badge for a couple of days and i think the last day was a non-badge day and i didn't know that otherwise i would have totally checked it out because apparently lizzo was there and she was like performing not every day but it still would have been cool to like go in the installation and then also a lot of places on rainy have also started taking down their stuff and i'm like what the heck i thought it like lasted like two weeks or you know, a weekend, a week, and a, another weekend at least. So I'm very confused. I know like half of the week is like tech and then the other parts like music and film, I don't even know. But yeah, I'm kind of sad that I didn't really get to experience all of the ones that are shutting down. If I would have known, I would have uh, went to them before they shut down. I'm gonna head home. I actually don't have any grad shoots today. So I definitely need to respond to emails because I've been slacking on that and that's awful because I know like when I email someone, I obviously want a response ASAP. So I just need to be better about that. Um, and then what else am I doing today? Oh, I'm having a little bachelor finale party at my house. I don't know how I'm gonna accommodate all these girlies, but we're gonna make it work because I'm excited. I invited some people that I met at the Create and Cultivate event and they live here in Austin. They were really cool and nice. So I love when like my friends get to meet like new friends and we all become friends and it's just a big happy circle of friends. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking, head home because I tried that crunch bar, it was really good, but now I need some real breakfast in me. It's currently 1.10 and I went straight to my computer after I got home ate like some cereal just because I was hashtag stressed because <coughs> my Lightroom catalog was corrupted and it could not be repaired and I even called Lightroom and I guess it didn't have like a backup so the photos I had just spent like a good amount of time working on yesterday and editing 
are not there. I have to re-import and edit them. And thank God I didn't like lose all the photos because I have like backups and stuff. But like the fact that I spent that time and I was like so proud of myself because I was like getting it done early-ish. I mean like not early, but you know, like not waiting too long to like edit the photos and everything. It literally kills me inside that they're like lost. I mean, honestly, it would have been worse to like lose a whole video. So it's fine, but like also not fine because I'm just like thinking about the time wasted because that's just how my mind works. But it is... 1 p.m. and I am gonna quickly hop in the shower and then we actually missed the bachelor finale last night since we went to that um, premiere party so we are going to try to watch it hopefully it's on Hulu already I'm not sure if it is but hopefully because I need to catch up before I watch it tonight with my friends I totally forgot that I would probably need to watch Monday's episode so we're gonna do that Ryan's really into bachelor and so I feel bad that I'm having a party I mean he's obviously invited but I think he you know, we'll probably not want to sit on the couch with like seven other girls. <laughs> so I don't know what he'll be doing today, but I'm gonna just body shower honestly, cause like my hair looks fine. I did my makeup very lightly, but it's on. So I'm not gonna do anything to this part of my face. <laughs> just get clean and then change and plant myself on the couch and re-edit these photos. I look a little crusty and it's a little bit later, but my friends are coming over to watch the bachelor finale and i literally just finished watching um the first part of the finale i guess it was like monday and tuesday um so it's getting a little crazy this is a spoiler but i'm kind of mad that gabby was like oh okay like let me give you one more chance after she said like i want to leave because i was cheering her on when she said that she wanted to leave because i was like you go girl like you know what you need to do also, sorry for the vacuum on in the background. Just had to get the place a little bit clean. Not doing a great job of it, but I was kind of like working up until the last minute. I was doing a lot of like just email catch up and editing the photos that I lost. Um, but I think I'm gonna make like a tiny cheese board. I think some people are bringing like snacky food and stuff like that. Um, and I got some grapes, cheese and crackers over there. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna wait for them to tell me when they're on their way here it kind of sucks that i live in like an apartment with the key fob because my last place well it's definitely safer here but my last place you could just walk up um without a key fob and enter the apartment through the outside and it was kind of nice when i had friends over because i never had to like let them in but it's okay it's worth it andy was on time and all of those other bitches were late i know i thought i was gonna be late <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding um but yeah no they're on their way and i'm making a little cheese board she brought over wait that's so cute I show it that is so cute some themed cookies yes. spring and uh what's it? st patrick's day oh, hopefully you really can cute. see them i don't want them <laughs> um but oh that might be someone Cheers! Hi! <laughs> we got the full spread. Yeah, I need to try those too. What are they? Those butter? Some caramel, like oh. cookie chocolate. Heaven. Sold. Something. Oh, so yeah. good, right? It's Wednesday, and today we have a very busy day full of like random little events and things to do. Um, this morning I had an early morning shoot, and it was just like one hour at UT. And the light was amazing, and it was just like really nice weather. I mean, I was like all bundled up, and my grad was definitely not, but it was just it felt good you know to be like in a cool weather setting and then i came home i ate some breakfast um made some like tiktok reels kind of thing because i feel like i'm just lacking on tiktok and reels and i feel like i was doing so good for a while and then i did my makeup did my hair because i'm going to a doc martin event i met yvonne on monday she was actually a photographer here in austin she moved to dallas recently but she's back for south by southwest and she'll be back for seniors because she used to do ut seniors as well and so she actually has a brand deal with doc martin and they have a house on rainy street um and so we are going to go check it out i'm gonna shoot her and then we're gonna walk around rainy and then tonight i have a crew party crew is a sunglasses 
brand and they gifted me a pair a while back i want to find them so i can wear them to the party and then after that i got invited to a drink boxed event it's like a wine tasting cheese board making class so it sounds super freaking fun and i need to pick out my outfit i'm not really sure what i'm gonna wear i do want to film a lot of tiktoks today though because i feel like like i said I'm slacking, I need to get the content up, and we are gonna do that, but first I need to upload the photos from this morning and get them in my like Pixie site gallery online situation and then send them over to the girl. Here's my outfit for the event. All of this is from Amazon. This little um, button down that I wear like very often, and then this sweater vest is also from Amazon. My leggings are actually from Amazon, right? 90 degrees, I think that's sold on Amazon. I got it like so long ago, um, but the only thing not from Amazon, I guess, are my Doc Martens, and I wanted to wear them because, you know, we're going to a Doc Martin event, and also I bought these like maybe a year ago, two years ago during winter, and probably wore them like maybe twice. I just feel like I don't wear black anymore and they're just so heavy too. I mean, they look really cool. Like they definitely give cool girl vibes, but I don't know. They're just like not my style anymore. But when I wear them, I feel cool, you know? So maybe I should wear them more often. Um, but I just called the lift. I did like the wait and save. So it's going to pick me up within like 15 minutes and then I'm going to meet Yvonne and just walk around Rainy and check it out. for Doc Martin so she got me into the house. I'm not even sure if you have to have a badge or what, but it's super cool. There's like a tattoo artist over here. Do you have any tattoos? No. Yeah. Yes. Me neither. <laughs> um, but I think, should we like walk around Rainy and just like check everything out? Yeah. I think like some things already got taken down, but we'll see what, what else is out there. So, do it. This is one of my favorite donut trucks, right on Rainy, but Yvonne said it was her South by tradition, so it's what I eat every year. <laughs> we had to get them. Back home, and I am getting so sleepy. I feel like I need to make a chai or something because I need to keep this energy up. Um, but I feel like the sun is like blinding today. It definitely like drained me a little bit. I did want to open a package up and it's from Glow Recipe. I actually worked with them to do a testimonial video for their platforms and I tried out one of their new creams and I fell in love with it. Like I love it. Like it is so good and I actually shot my shot and asked the girl if I could get a restock. She didn't reply for a couple of weeks and then I was like, okay, I'll just, you know, obviously go buy it at Sephora because I love this product so much. Then literally a week after she replies and she's like, oh my God, I totally meant to reply to this. I'm so sorry. Like blah, blah, blah. Can I send you some stuff? And I was like, of course, like I'll take anything. And I'm just really obsessed with this brand right now. So like I said, Glow Recipe, and this is the product I'm talking about. It is refillable. It is the Plump Plump Hyaluronic Cream. And I've actually had this in my makeup routine for about a year now. And after I got this, I feel like I just don't really need this anymore. Um, I mean, I don't know if they do similar stuff or different stuff, but I do know that a Sephora girl recommended me this. So this is the Hyaluronic Serum Deep Hydration Plus Glow. And then this is Dewy Moisture and Plump. And guys, this is so good. Like, I've tried a lot of gel moisturizers, but this one just really, really, like, does the trick for like moisturizing um so this is what it looks like and there's like a refillable pod so i actually bought the refillable pod to refill the original container um you can just pop it out like that and if you buy the refillable pod i think it's like 
six dollars cheaper which i mean still saving a bit of money so that's kind of nice and you know it's good for the environment um so I'm very excited that i got some glow recipe goodies and now i am probably just gonna edit grad photos slash do some tiktoks here and there because i actually got some amazon swim in the mail and i want to try them on so we might do that today. I'm about to head to another event. This whole time I was just kind of making some TikToks about the Amazon Swim, so go follow me on TikTok for sure. And I have on this shop red dress dress. It is stunning. I love this dress so much. It's so flattering. It has like little spaghetti straps with these frills. And yeah, I'm about to head out. It's a wine tasting and a cheese board making class. And I'm meeting my friend Diane. And she actually went to my college at UCF, but she was in a PC younger than me, but she is like the sweetest, kindest soul, so I'm really excited to catch up with her. I'm with Diane, and we're about to head into the boxed house. I guess they're like having these events all week, but we're doing a cheese board and wine tasting night. Wine I feel like this element. is so your vibe. I was like, okay, wait, this is like so Diane, so I'm so glad you could come. Can't wait. So we're gonna head in, let's go. Just a little bit about our company. If you don't know, Boxed is a female founded company. Um, our amazing founder, Sarah Kuhl, once just, you know, sitting at a bar, um, and was thinking, why don't we put fine wine in the box? So she did. <laughs> so all of our wine is made in our uh, winery in Napa, and then we ship it globally from um, Austin and California. And uh, that's a little bit about us. home from the event we actually went into target after because first we wanted to get our parking validated and then i also had to get toilet paper because we had literally zero left so that was fun um but i got the toilet paper and then i saw a candle and i had to get it because i bought this three wick candle that had like this ribbed edge and it was clear I'm not sure where it is. I honestly haven't looked, so maybe it's in the TV stand because I don't remember finishing it, to be honest. But I saw on TikTok that this girl had like this bowl of strawberries and one comment was like, oh, like, uh, where'd you get that bowl? And she was like, oh, it's actually a Target candle. I was like, oh my God. So I am gonna try to search for it and look for it. And that is such a good idea. Like, I mean, it's, you know, not the newest idea ever. Like it's definitely been done before, but like repurposing your candle into a bowl. So now that's all I think about. Like when I see a candle, I'm like, how can I make this into a bowl? Or like how pretty does it look just as a bowl? So that's one of the main reasons I got this. So it has like this green interior and it's called Zest. This is like the label. I also am obsessed with like this linen texture. I don't even know what you would call it. But I love this texture right now on anything like graphics especially. I'm trying to like get that into my brand somehow. Um, but anyways, good smelling candle. I always love like having more candles. Last week I cleaned my whole place and I was like, okay, I'm burning my Marfa candle as a reward. So I was done. I finished cleaning. And then I was like too scared to burn it because like, I don't know. It's like a really nice candle and it's like a souvenir. So I was like, I don't want it to like you know, burn out in like three hours, even though I don't, I think it has like a good burn time. Um, and also I try to get soy candles. Ryan was actually the one that told me about it, but basically soy candles are just like better for you. And like, they don't, I don't, I don't want to like say the wrong information, but like, I think they don't put in carcinogens into the air. I don't know. Don't quote me, but like Bath and Body Works candles are not like good for burning in your house because like just chemicals, I guess, in general. But I also bought Ryan some Reese's because I was dumb and put his Reese's like out of the way. I think I was like wiping down the counters and they, it was like right here. I put it on top of our air fryer right there, just like, again, get it out of the way. And they melted because the air fryer was like hot because he had just used it. And he was like, why'd you do that? And I was like, I don't know, I'm stupid. So I bought him the egg ones. He's like, literally addicted like this is his kryptonite he loves Reese's so much 
And yes, I call them Reese's and I don't think that's ever gonna change to be honest, but I drank this um, before I went to that event. Actually, before I started doing the TikToks because I needed caffeine and I was like, whoo, I was like shaking. I mean, like, I feel like I'm talking like really fast and my upper lip's sweating because I'm like really just on one today, but it was, it was pretty good. I mean, like, I feel like all like energy drinks just taste so like, in a way chemically like that I shouldn't be drinking it, you know, like it's like so sugary almost, but like it's 10 calories and I'm like how and why and how? So kind of scares me a little bit, but the event was actually for Boxed and I had no idea. I think they're like an Austin based company because they actually um, had the event in their like workspace, which was actually really, really nice. And it was right in Saltillo, so. First we have the little cheese box I made and it was so cute and like I you know always have these bachelor nights I always have friends over I love hosting friends but I never know how to make a cheese board because I never know how to make it pretty and like I feel like I'm not doing it good enough almost and I'm like getting to the point where I'm like okay I just want to eat the thing and I don't really care how it looks, but I appreciate when it's pretty. Like, you know, I love posting it on my Instagram story. So now that I like learned the little salami rolls and like how to kind of like garnish it, I think I will be better next time. So get ready for some cheese board content next. Well, shit, Bachelor is literally done. It was like done yesterday. Can we talk about this? Because like Susie was like so poised and like almost like I don't know how to describe it, but like she was being so like cringy almost on the finale and also her caption, insert screenshot here, like it was something like, I don't even know, like uh, Clayton and Susie's name and she was like, Clazy Baby. I was like, and I'm pretty sure Clayton had this like whole heartfelt note on his Instagram caption and I was like, what is going on here? Like I need the tea, like the actual tea. But I'm so impressed with Gabby because she, like, well, okay, at first I thought she was a little bit ditzy, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like a lot of people did, but she spoke so well and, like, held it together. I honestly think, like, at the finale, I'm sorry if this these are spoilers, but during the finale, she, like, left the room when he was like, I want Susie. And I thought she was gonna go to the next room and just cry. But she was just sitting there like just pissed off and it was like so funny and like all hail Queen Gabby because I would be in tears. Also, weird enough, but I took a screenshot of her followers last night and I, this was at 7.35. So it was 35 minutes into the show and she was at 164K. Let's check what she is right now. 328K. I, I kind of knew it was gonna like at least double in a day that's crazy, but good for her. And I really like Rachel too. So they're gonna be the bachelorettes at the same time. And they kind of had that, but like the guys voted on one girl. I think it was like Caitlin Bristow and Britt. I, don't, I can't remember her last name, but I know Britt was like one of the girls that they chose. I can't remember the other one, but I think it's Caitlin Bristow. Anyways, back to the boxed wine. So this is really cool. It's literally like in a freaking box. Oops. And there's a little nozzle. So I chose number three. It's floral, fruity, smooth, sweet. Fun fact about me, I have the taste buds of a three-year-old and I love sweet drinks. I will order a Shirley Temple probably over a cocktail or like a drink at a bar because like, well, unless I'm trying to get drunk, then like probably not. But I love like Sprite. Sprite is my weakness. And so when I go to drink wines, like I hate the dry stuff i honestly like don't love the taste of alcohol so it's really like hard for me to like anything but this one definitely tasted the most like juice and it was really really good um also this is one boxed but it has four bottles in here and it's pretty heavy i thought this was like a really cool idea and i can't remember if like white wines go in your fridge but i don't even know like does it have like instructions? Yeah, it probably does. I need to like read up on this thing. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm very happy to be like home right now. It is literally 6.59. The sun is setting right now. And 
I'm alone at home at 7 p.m. and I feel like it has not happened in a couple of days, maybe like a week or so, I don't know, but I feel like I've just been going to all these events, which I was telling Diane, I might get like, not depressed, but like just so lonely after like South by Southwest happens and I'm gonna be like bored. Well, actually grad season is gonna happen and like ramp up like crazy. So probably not, but, but I'm just gonna miss going to all these events and like networking with people. It's gonna be so sad when it all ends and like it just doesn't feel like real. And I mean, it, it's almost not real life because it's not like my real everyday life. So this vlog, you're gonna see me going to like so many events, but again, not my real life. <laughs> I wish it was because this is so fun, but also so exhausting because you're just like making small talk, which honestly I love. I love getting to know people and like where they're from, what their stories are. But like I said, it does take a lot of energy. So I'm very excited to like take off my makeup, put my hair in a ponytail, get in my PJs. Honestly, a body shower sounds amazing right now. So I'm going to do that and then probably just do some like light computer work and call it a night. Good morning. Just kidding, it's actually 5 p.m. and we are gonna go to HEB. Um, this is literally my first time getting out of the house. I feel like I have allergies, like I, I'm like sneezing, I my eyes itchy and shit. Um, yeah, maybe I have cedar fever, Just but and that's like a new thing in Texas. Well, it's not a new thing in Texas, but <laughs> but like when I moved to Texas, it was like the first time I heard about cedar fever. Tonight we're gonna try to make the infamous. Elefante eggplant dip. What's it called? Say that. Whipped eggplant. Oh, whipped eggplant. Yes. Um, and yeah. So I think there's like a recipe online and I've been having it saved for months now. I actually had purchased eggplants like last week and I hadn't gotten around to making it because also I needed like this one ingredient that I didn't have. So we're at HEB and we're just going to grab some stuff because I feel like we're getting to the point where our fridge is just like, we look in the fridge and there's nothing to eat. <laughs> At least Ryan. <laughs> but. It's all your random condiments that aren't open and random things you want to try. But I do have a lot of sauces. I'm a sauce girl, it's, but. It's just random stuff like you're never going to use that. And you're like, yeah, well, who cares? You bite anyway. <laughs> Am I wrong? We you're not wrong, but what if I'm going to need freaking fish oil one day? Um, I'll, I'll go buy What if it. I'm going to need oyster <laughs> sauce one day? I'll go what if, at midnight. But what if I want some bacon jam on yeah, something? We have 14 jars. So <laughs> you're trying, you're trying to see it, you buy it. You're like, oh, I need this. And you have like 10 of them. Well. I'm going to go throw away everything in the fridge. You, no, you you're can not. tell me when it's gone. No. And I'll buy it back. <laughs> Why? Do not do that. I better just save it. And you can tell me what's missing. And if you can name it, I'll put it back in the fridge. <laughs> No. I put all trash bags in. No. Okay, let's go into H-E-B. He always gives me a time limit when we go grocery shopping. She even <laughs> stands in the fruit aisle for 25 minutes and just looks around. I like anything. looking at the fruit. It's like old, I also fruit H-E-B. <laughs> <laughs> disgusting. 
bitch, there's no rotten fruit in there. And also, she, I love... She gets, like, three lime cheese on the kale scale. I also love going down, like, the snack aisles. And there's always some new snacks to try that are, like, healthy for you, you know? Better for you. So, I always like trying those. But anyways, I should probably just retie my hair because I have not touched it since this morning. And I don't want to look like this when I go on HV, but... It's almost 8 p.m. and I honestly just haven't done much and didn't really feel like vlogging because I've been laying on the couch the whole day on my computer um, and definitely took some naps because I feel like I just need to like catch up on my sleep and just rest for a little bit. I am having some FOMO though because it is St. Patrick's Day and my friends are out on Rainy Street and they're at Bungalow and Bungalow is literally closing at the end of this month apparently. And that's like one of my favorite bars on Rainy, so I'm really sad that I'm not there, but also like I'm not because this is like all I want to do. I took the shower. Um, usually I do it on Friday mornings, but I don't think I'll have time tomorrow morning to like wash my hair and everything and let it dry. So I did the whole hair wash routine. I shaved, all of that kind of stuff, and I got into some cozy PJs. And now we are gonna try to make the Elefante whipped eggplant. And I got the recipe off of Rock Your Body's uh, website. She's actually Amanda Stanton's uh, sister from The Bachelor. She was on Ben Higgins season, I believe. Uh, and so I found her on TikTok a while ago and saw this recipe on her page and literally had to try it. So it's been quite a while since we've been to Elefante. I think we went in August of last year, so I don't really remember what it tasted like, but if it tastes good, like I think we've succeeded, you know? So before my shower, I preheated the oven to 425 degrees. I literally just sliced the eggplant in half and cut off the top and bottom, drizzled it with some olive oil, put some salt on it, and then popped it in the oven for I think 35 minutes. I think it's like 30 to 40 minutes. Um, and I think it looks good to me, so we're gonna do a little blending action with some other ingredients and like i said i will put the recipe in the description box below if you guys are interested to try it out and then i also got these non things from heb i know you're technically supposed to eat this with pita but i feel like this is kind of like the same kind of vibe um and i love me some non so i'm going to heat this up too and start peeling away at the skin I'm supposed to let it cool for a while, but like I'm hungry. And if I wait any longer, I'm going to eat everything that's like snacky in my house and not be hungry for this. So I'm just gonna try to peel the skin off. Do my best. <laughs> Taste test, Sophie, you're gonna participate. Something small bite. Small bite. Here goes nothing. What do you think? Can you even remember what it tastes like? I just remember it tasting really good. <laughs> oh, I remember. Oh, <laughs> well damn, is it good? Mm -hmm. You like it? It's like a, if I want these 10, that's like a 7.2. Damn. <laughs> I thought I would do a little bit better. That's pretty good. I guess so. It's your first time making it too. That's true. I will uh, work on the recipe. I think I added a little too much garlic. Maybe 7.5. Cool. I'll take it. Here, I don't even know what it's doing, but we're gonna watch Pam and Tommy. I hope we have another episode because they like came out. We have two new episodes? Shit. How many more episodes do we have? Three? I don't know, Jimmy. Oh, okay, well. It's actually a really, really good show. Um, but I guess who is doing this thing where they're like releasing, you know, a new episode every week and I'm like, but you're Hulu. This is for binging, okay? Like we want it all 
when we watch it, you know? I think it's Hulu produced, right? I don't know. Oh, it's the or... producer of I, Tonya or whoever Franco. <laughs> from I, Tonya. Um, anyways, I, Tonya was a really good movie too. So when I saw that, I was like, okay, sold. We need to watch it. Um, how many actually episodes do we have left? Just two? Mm -hmm. And they're all available. Yay. Good morning. It is Friday and we are going to have a good day, a productive day and a fun day because we have some events and we're going to start our morning off going to Soho House Austin which I am literally dying inside. My friend invited me and we were going to go catch up over coffee and she was like, do you want to go to Soho House? Like, I love to show people if they've never been and I was like, are you kidding me? I would love to go. So we are going but the thing about Soho House is that they don't allow you to like take any photos or like film or you know really have your phones out like apparently they're weird about phones so I'm not really sure if I can vlog it, which sucks because this is such a cool thing. So I'm gonna try to sneak some clips, but no promises. And obviously I wanna be like respectful, but also I want like content because that's so cool. I have no idea what I'm gonna wear, but I think Nikki instead like casual, but think like nice brunch. So I'm gonna like scrummage through my closet and see what I can find. But I wanted to show you guys my favorite freaking face cream ever. This is the Glow Recipe. Plump Plump Hyaluronic Cream, and it's kind of like this gel cream, but trust me, I've tried a lot of gel creams before, and this is the best by far. It is just like so hydrating and really like penetrates the skin and like really gives it that moisture that it needs. Um, so I actually did like a testimonial video for this company because they sent this to me like before it launched so I could try it out. And I went to Sephora and restocked, but they actually um, ended up like giving me a restock through PR, so now I have like two, which is great because now I don't have to be too greedy with it because it's just so good. Um, so I highly recommend this. And I think the Sephora sale is coming up. I heard it's gonna be here around April 1st. So I'm gonna start planning out some content around that because I would love to get like a makeup routine up for you guys. I know a lot of people have been asking recently and I just keep pushing it off because I don't know, there's just like so many video ideas and like content ideas that I want to execute, but like not enough time or things just keep coming up. So I definitely want to get a makeup video out to you guys like super soon. Also, like I'm going to try to do like some sort of like a Sephora recommendations. Um, I try to do that every time the sale comes around, either if it's on like to know it or Instagram story so be following me on everywhere also TikTok. I feel like that would be an easy place to like put all my recommendations so follow me everywhere um pretty much everything is so underscore gnarly without the g and that's on like to know it TikTok I believe Pinterest um and Instagram and then obviously you can just find me on YouTube by my full name Sonali Prabhu but you're already here so if you guys are not already subscribed definitely hit that subscribe button down below. Um, and I'm just excited to be cranking out content. This morning I actually had a call with my video editor and I'm just like really, really freaking excited that she's gonna be able to help me because she like gets my vibe and I just feel like we are gonna be a really good team together and just really excited about it so I can like make more content, you know? So it's nice that I'm gonna be able to like get back that time and just make more content with it. So next up, I'm just gonna be using this Coco Kind Eye Cream. The applicator is this like metal thing, so it's kind of like cooling on the eyes. And I just think it's so fun to apply. So I love applying it in the mornings or literally just whenever I'm doing my skincare. And I think I did it like in a TikTok where I use like this finger, but apparently you're supposed to use your ring finger because it's like not too much pressure. And so just blend that out. There's like this weird dry patch on my forehead. I'm like, bro, can you not? Because I had to put on makeup today. <laughs> I was trying to slug yesterday so it wouldn't make it to today, but I see that it's not gone. Um, I did get a little bit of FOMO last night seeing all my friends out on rainy, but that's okay because I woke up not hungover, so that's a plus, and I think we're just gonna try to go out this weekend. I'm not really sure what day, but I got invited to a South By event this weekend. It's for JCPenney, I believe. I'm not even sure where it is, um, and honestly, I'm kind of like 
getting a tiny bit burnt out even though like I, I think these events are super cool but at first I was going into the week with the mentality that I needed to show up for every little thing I got invited to just to show face make those connections network which obviously I've been like doing and I love it and honestly it's been really really great for me but then you do go to like a couple of those events where I'm just like, okay, why did I come? I'm literally going to be here for like two seconds, show my face and leave. And sometimes it's just like not worth driving through the traffic for. Um, but I mean, it is Friday night. So I thought we could just like go to this event and then like bop around town and just like see what's up, you know? Cause I feel like when it is a Friday night, especially if South by Southwest is going on and I'm at home like doing nothing, I'm definitely going to be having FOMO and just feeling like, you know, I need to be out like literally just checking out what's going on for my business like in a business perspective because of like networking opportunities which i know i feel like my mind is always just like business business work 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 and i need to like chill sometimes but i don't know how and i don't know when that's gonna be happening so for now this is just how I am, but I'm going to go put on some makeup. Um, I'll probably do some Instagram stories for that. So I think I need to get dressed before I do that because I wanted to show my foundation. I feel like I've been getting a lot of questions about like the foundation base I use and it's L'Oreal Pro Glow. Um, I've been talking about it for forever. It's literally always my go-to foundation. Like I always kind of like, you know, dabble in um, more higher end foundations from Sephora. Like Charlotte Tilbury is my go-to high end foundation, but unfortunately that color is kind of like my summer color. It's like a little bit darker. So whenever my skin tone gets a little bit more on the fair side, I go back to the L'Oreal Pro Glow and I love it so much. It just like lasts long. And if you are more oily, then you can do the Pro Matte and it's also great. I just feel like for my dry skin, it kind of Kind of like feels really tight on my skin and i feel like i can't move my face but i think i'm being dramatic so i don't know anyways i'm gonna get dressed and let's have a good day i was gonna straighten my hair but i really want to try to film an apartment tour today if i can like clean my whole house and i was thinking i wanted my hair curly but i did like quick curls over my natural hair so it kind of looks a little messy but I texted Nagina and told her I would be like 10 minutes late and she was like perfect, which it's so nice when you're running late and then the other girl's running late too and we're just kind of like on the same vibe. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go pack my like computer bag because I think we're gonna just like chill there and work for a little bit and then we'll head to South Congress. Soho House, and this is Nagin. Hi. The reason why I even was able to go to Soho House. We love a member. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it was so cool inside. I did sneak a video or two, you know. I couldn't help myself, honestly. It's illegal. Yeah, it literally is illegal. <laughs> I couldn't tag them, though, because, like, obviously, they would come and find my ass and, they like, would. literally put me in jail, I think. That's, yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but we are getting tired, hitting that midday slump. We're just like, mm, I think I'm like we should. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> but also I think we were in a food coma. The food was like, you know, pretty good. So we did think the juices would be in a cup and not a bottle. I know, that was really interesting, but but it's okay because they were still good. So we love good juice. Okay, we're gonna go home now. Bye. It's hours later and we're actually gonna go out to an event that I got invited to. I think it's on Congress Avenue, so we're gonna bop around. I made like a reservation. If we make it, we make it. If we don't, we don't. But this is the fit for the night. I have this top from Shop Bohm. It's just so flattering, honestly, and it's like one of my go-to like going out tops. Then I have this belt thingy from Amazon. I wish I got it longer. I think you can like choose the size, but I wish it was like hanging more, but I'm a thick girl and I did not realize that I needed like a long belt for that kind of like look and then these jeans are from Abercrombie um, and then the shoes that I need to like retie are from ASOS and they're Alexander McQueen dupes kind of um, and we're just drinking Margs I'm gonna have a drink before we go I just took Sophie out really quick and then she had a poopy butt <laughs> And I was trying to get like the poop out of her and I kind of like smeared it on her butt accidentally. So then I had to wash her. So 
we were supposed to leave like 20 minutes ago, but no worries. I think the event ends at 9.30, but our reservation's like at 8.30, so like I said, if we make it, great. If we don't, I don't know what we're gonna eat because I really haven't eaten too, too much today. Cheers. Having a little margarita. Compliments of the mixologist <laughs> himself. Oh yeah, you already drank it. I feel like you never like finish all the salt. The salt is my favorite part. A lot of salt. I know, but I love salt. So recently, I think I talked about this, either on my stories, TikTok, or vlog, I don't know. Too much to keep up with these days, but I have been recently feeling like the weirdest tingling feeling in my lips after I drink alcohol. I've tried multiple cocktails and they all do it, and none of their ingredients were the same, so I'm just like really confused on what it could be. I mean, it has to be like the alcohol, because it's like not ginger, it couldn't be like the tahini, it couldn't be like the salt. So I'm really weirded out because it only started like maybe in January or maybe in December actually, but it's so odd I'm sad about it We're heading out and the event is for JCPenney and I don't really know much else to be honest um, I literally just got invited like a couple of days ago, but I will vlog on my iPhone for you guys I definitely don't want to bring my camera out because we'll probably be drinking and everything like that But we're gonna call the uber soon and I'll insert some clips here Ryan's a little fashion influencer. He got a jean jacket. <laughs> That wraps up this weekly vlog. If you guys are not already subscribed, go ahead and do so because I post these every single Sunday and you can see real time content on my Instagram, TikTok, and pretty much everywhere. It's all so underscore gnarly without the G. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.